Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we're gonna check out the signature Josh Middleton guitar amp sim plugin from STL Tones. In the last couple of years, uh, the guitar amp sim market has exploded, but what that has also done is driven competition and it's driven everything forward at lightning speed. And I feel like, you know, even five, six years ago, the guitar amp sim, you know, the plug-in, the virtual guitar amp plug-in market was pretty stale. That is not so in the current era. Things are very exciting and I am very excited about the STL to Tonality Josh Middleton signature plugin from STL Tones. Now, before we go any further, STL Tones has asked me to show you guys this plugin. And Josh Middleton is actually a really cool guy. And we hung out once or twice and have chatted online. And I am under no obligation to say anything good or bad about this plugin. They sent it to me and wanted me to check it out. And all thoughts and opinions are still mine. Now, in case you guys didn't know, Josh Middleton of Architects and Silosis fame is of the highest order of the Riftsmen. If there was a Mount Rushmore of insane right-handed riff guys, James Hetfield would be the first guy. Josh very well could be probably the third guy right behind, you know, Malcolm Young from ACDC. But in my opinion, Josh is one of the tightest, most tasteful guitar players of the modern age. I am not just saying that. I have always felt that way. I am a huge Silosis fan. I'm a huge Architects fan. His playing is tasteful. His sense of tone is amazing. And that has extended to his new plugin from STL Tones, STL, STL Tonality, Josh Middleton. Now, with Josh's plugin, you get three complete amplifiers. Three amplifiers. You get a block letter, 5150. You get a PV, triple X and you get a multi-watt Mesa Boogie rectifier. Now these aren't just any amps, these are based on, these are virtual recreations of Josh's actual favorite amplifiers that he owns. These have been recreated at the component level digitally, so these aren't like, you know, these aren't just an audio capture of, of his amplifier. This is an actual recreation, a digital rebuilding of his amplifiers, mods and all. And there are like a couple of mods uh, on some of them. But what this gets you is insane amp feel and amp tone. You get all the sauce. You get Josh's, but well, that doesn't, that's, mm, that doesn't. But you also get Josh's three cabinets as well. There are two Mesa Boogie 412s and one Marshall 412. And there's, there's a whole bunch of mics and you get a total of 3,744 individual IRs used for the cabinet section of this, this plugin. That's just absolutely crazy. Enough of my yapping, we will get to the plugin in just a second, but let's hear what this thing can do in the context of a mix. I love this thing. All right, so I have my Gibson Les Paul Custom. I have STL Tonality Josh Middleton open. I'm going to start with my JSM, my, my 5150 preset, okay, that I have made. Now, we'll go over it here in just a second. I have the gate up a little bit, and I also wanna talk about the input, and I will show you how that works. However, this is my my baseline tone. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so damn good. Okay, obviously this is Josh's 5150. This is not just a single channel of the 5150. This is, we go over to the button, the channel button like you would on the real life amplifier. I have the amplifier right here behind me and you can select to the rhythm channel. Cause I have the crunch button in. Now if I put that out, I do have an overdrive on, so just a second. Click that overdrive off, and now we're on the clean channel of the 5150. Which is not that good, because it's a 5150 and everything is dialed for the gain channel. However, let's go back to the red channel. Overdrive is off. God, that's so good. That is so good. Okay, so from left to right, we have our input gain. We have our noise gate. We have our tuner, which I wanna talk about in just a second. Stomp boxes, we have our amplifier. We have our cabinet, effects, and MIDI. And then finally, our master output control. Now, our input has this little button right here. And this is so we can select our pickup type. In this case, I'm going to I'm gonna go high output and I'm going to play and it's going to adjust and come up with the best level in which to hit these amplifiers. And I'm done. 5.5 dB input gain is where it is decided that it needs to be in order to make the amp sound as it should. This feature is awesome because I'm still retaining the sound in my pickups. However, I am making the amp sound as best as it can. So if I have low output pickups, that's okay. If I have high output pickups, which I do in this case, that's okay. Really, really cool feature. I've never seen this before uh, on a plugin. Brilliant. Um, this works really, really wonderfully. I could go get my P90 Gibson Les Paul Jr. and it would, it would crank up the input gain to make me hit the amp as I need it to. Really, really cool. Next, we have a noise gate. This is, you know, self-explanatory. It's very, very tight, very transparent. And I generally keep this at noon. I don't really mess with it too much. Now, with the tuner, I can set the sensitivity. Or I can set the sensitivity. I can go ahead and mute the signal if I want. I can make it not very sensitive, so that'll make the needle jump less. Shocker, my G string is out. On a last ball, that's weird, it never happens. So you can see, it's very, very smooth. I love this feature. Again, this is another feature I have never seen before in a plugin. Never seen it, always wanted it, never seen it. Love this. Gonna get out of that, it's gonna unmute the signal automatically. Next, let's go to the stomp boxes. We have a compressor, we have an octave effect, we have an overdrive. This overdrive one is, um, it's like, you know, like a dirty tree, or, or a Fortin 33 kind of a thing. Low pass and high pass filters, uh, as well as the drive and level. And then we have a regular OD style overdrive, which is overdrive two, okay? These effects are very, very good. Um, I'm going to, this is an octave down. I'm gonna put this at eh, 48%. And it dries all the way up. Here's the, uh, here's the pitch. Flawlessly tracks.
No artifacts. I love that. It's so good. Now, on to the amplifiers. There's amps one, two, and three. Okay, obviously I'm on the amp one, 5150. Next, amp two is the PV triple X. Amp three is a multi-watt dual rectifier. Another one, I have the real amp. I'm intimately familiar with it right next to me. Um, what is cool about this plugin is STL has modeled at the component level each of Josh's actual amplifiers. So they are not capturing an end sound like a, a Kemper or a Quad Cortex. They are virtually building these amplifiers component by component, capacitors, resistors, tubes, tr uh, transformers, all of those things to virtually create the amplifier. And that is why you get this real nice rich feel as if you were plugged into a real amplifier. This is awesome as an amp lover. No secret, I absolutely love amps. This plugin is a lot of damn fun. We will get to the other amps in just a second. I just wanted to show you guys all of the amplifiers in this. And keep in mind, each amplifier is the full tilt amplifier. That is the clean, crunch, and lead channels of each amplifier, okay? It's not just a single channel from each amplifier. It's the amplifier, all right? Next. The cabinet section. There's three cabinets uh, of Josh's, two boogie cabinets and a Marshall 412. There's four microphones on each and they have made thousands of individual impulse responses for these things and it's pretty impressive. Each microphone placement you can place obviously wherever you want, and then you also have the angle control. So you can do off axis and anywhere in between 45 degrees, however many degrees you want, 45 to zero, you can get, okay? So cool, the distance, bring the mics back. And these again are Josh's actual cabinets that have been captured and they sound so damn good. I really am really impressed with these. Next, effects. We have an EQ, post EQ. We have delay, and then you have reverb. I'm always using this EQ because I like to take out the low lows and the high highs as most people would do with a guitar effect. So I'm gonna turn off my EQ. Here's what it sounds like with no EQ. <laughs> I wanna clean up that low end a little bit. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna mess with the high pass frequency right here. Currently it's at 91 Hertz, which is generally where I would start with any amplifier. And now I'm gonna to go to the low pass filter. 10, 10K is generally where I like to sit. Sometimes in a mixed context, I will go lower. I'll go nine, maybe top high eights. And if I want, I can fine tune this tone by coming up and let's say I wanna add a little bit of 1K. Pretty cool. Delay. Now, right now I'm in mono. If I wanna go to stereo, I can go up here to the routing and change that. I'm, I am on a mono track, so I'm, I cannot uh, switch into stereo, but if I was on a stereo instance, I could then switch between mono and stereo. Lastly, we have reverb. All right. 
Let's get to the amplifiers. I'm gonna start over with my 5150 preset. Amp one. <laughs> Now the, the menu is very intuitive. So the current preset, I can revert back to where I'd normally be. I can also do things like create a new bank and then put a preset in there, right? Also, Josh has made a whole bunch of presets. Um, let's go to amp number two. This is my triple X preset. Very crunchy like a triple X is. Again, I need to fine tune that, I think. So I'm gonna come over here to the EQ, my high pass, I'm gonna put up to, I don't know, 113 maybe. Now I'm turning on the pedal section. The overdrive was not on just now. Now it is on. Now it has that skunk to it. PV triple X. Lastly, let's go to the rectifier. This is a multi-watt rectifier. I just want to keep playing. I don't want to show you guys anymore. I just want to keep. So again, this is the entire amp. So I can come over here to the, uh, to the vintage channel if I want. And each of these modes is captured per channel. So for example, I can go right now. I think we're on modern. There you go. There's modern. I was on vintage before, so I'm gonna turn this master down. I can also go to the raw, sh raw setting. I can also do the clean channel. If I want, I can add some effects to it. So good. That is STL Tonality Josh Middleton. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal plugin, and they really captured the field, and they did a good job in capturing just the essence of each individual amplifier. Having owned all of these amplifiers, currently owning two of the three, they nailed this plugin. Pretty cool. All right, so what do I think? This is honestly one of my favorite amp sims I have tried in a long time. I have access to literally 
anything that is made out there. I have my own plugin as well. I like it very much. This is such a joy to use and to play. I like the uh, input dialing, the auto dial for the input gain section that I so showed you in the playthrough. This plugin has, has so much sauce and so much depth and the fun factor is very, very high. I felt very creative playing it. And you just, well, I would say you can't buy that, but you can buy it with ST, STL Tonality, Josh Milton. Very, very cool plugin. Um, kudos to STL and Josh. I have thoroughly enjoyed this plugin. And uh, yeah, if you wanna check it out for yourself, I will link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.